Okay, so this is going to be a really quick unboxing video. Um, so what I ordered is a Leica hand grip. I ordered this from Hong Kong and I got a really good price on it. So if there's something that I love doing, it's buying used camera equipment. I'm a huge proponent of it. You save a lot of money. Um, you just got to make sure that you're buying from a place that has a good return policy or that uh, you're buying from somebody that you trust just from meeting them. So I've bought used equipment my entire life as a photographer because camera equipment is really expensive and I also have expensive taste and so in order to be able to get the camera equipment I want, I really have no choice but to buy used. So, um, a few tips on who you can buy from. You can buy from, you know, uh, camera stores that are, you know, specialized in used equipment. Um, like this is from, looks like uh, M and K uh, camera in Hong Kong. Um, you can also buy from KEH. You can also buy from the used equipment departments at B and H, Adorama, um, and you can also buy directly from Leica stores. So. With this lens right here, um, like I bought this used from a Leica store and uh, actually got a really good deal on it. Um, the Leica store in Bellevue, Washington actually had the lowest price out of anyone and I felt really good about it because they had sent it into the store and they had um, had it recoded and looked at and fixed up so that it was just like new. Um, and I was told that this lens right here Actually, uh, this, uh, the hood here had been dented when it was brought into them and then they sent it into their repair department, got it all fixed up and it's just like new. So that's another path you can go. However, for this hand grip, you know, this isn't as delicate as a lens and so it wasn't as important to me that it be really um, in super great condition. You know, lenses are, obviously there's a lot more that can go wrong with them. But something like a hand grip, either it's gonna work or it isn't. And so if for whatever reason it just doesn't work, I can just send it back. All right, so yeah, this is the hand grip model number 24018. It's for the M10. I got it in black. You can also get it in black chrome, which is what my camera is, but I don't really care if this gets um, beat up a little bit over time. It's not the end of the world. Oh, nice. I'm very excited about this because I've been wanting a hand grip on this camera ever since I got it. So it looks like you just put this on the same way almost. So it's got this, looks like it screws on. Just like a tripod mount. So give it a little bit of pressure so that it'll get in there. There we go. Nice. And that feels solid. It's very flush, which I like. Let's give it a feel. Wow, yeah. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and give some first impressions of this. Um, okay. I do think I'm gonna have to change the grip that I've been using. I'm gonna have to change the way that I hold the camera a little bit. But one of the things I really like about it, right off the bat, is that, um, let's just go ahead and take it off really quick and I'll show you kind of how I was holding the camera and how I think it's gonna change that grip. Okay, so the way I was holding it is kind of like this, right? It's kind of holding it like that. And uh, the problem with that is sometimes my finger here, uh, which finger would that be? Yeah, this finger right here would get in the way of this little viewfinder here. That's what you use for doing the focusing. Uh, that focus square in the middle that's through the viewfinder is actually mixing these two together and that's how you're 
focusing. And so um, sometimes my finger will accidentally block this. You can realize pretty quickly when you're doing it and, and adjust, but it's, uh, it can be a little bit annoying. Um, the other thing is a lot of times I'm sort of uh, doing exposure compensation here. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, so sometimes I'm changing my grip a little bit from this to this. Let's go ahead and put this back on. I can't wait to take this out on a shoot and just see what kind of a difference it makes. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing is uh, it kind of gives me a spot right here to rest that problematic finger. Um, and so I really like that because I'm not blocking the uh, the focus viewfinder anymore, which is really nice. So I think that that's going to be good. I remember when I first looked at this, I was trying to figure out like why don't they actually have this extend all the way to the top? Um, and uh, I can kind of get it now because it does kind of give you um, a bit of a tighter grip up top, where maybe you need like the most uh, kind of like more reach, and then you've still got these three fingers on the bottom. And part of me wants to, yeah, I'll have to play around with it a little bit and see what's most comfortable. Because part of me wants to not put the finger up here, but put kind of all three here and then stretch my uh, pointer finger up to the very top. And maybe that's a more comfortable grip. Um, but anyway, um, unfortunately, I don't have a, a ton of information on this because this is more of an unboxing video than a how I use it video, but I really like it so far. I gotta say, like, it's, um, you know, as expected. I mean, it feels like it's really part of the camera. Um, I really love how secure it is with one hand. I just feel like I can't, I can't quite get that grip. The other thing I think I'm gonna really like about this is that I'm about to get a camera bag where this is gonna you know, slide in uh, this way rather than being, say, maybe like face down. And I think I'm gonna really like being able to grab the camera and pull it out of the camera bag and then put it back in easily from sort of like a side angle. Uh, I can imagine that just being a little bit more difficult to do over and over if you have um, just the regular base plate. So anyway, those are kind of some of my first impressions. I will take this out on a few shoots and then maybe I'll do another video about it or just cover it in a video that's about maybe some different things. Um, so actually what I'm gonna be getting pretty soon is I'm gonna be getting the Leica combination bag and I ordered it in both black and in tan so that I can decide between the two of them. Um, we're still sort of in the middle of a pandemic. This is, you know, summer of 2020 as I'm shooting this. And so um, since I can't go into a camera store and compare the bags, I just um, ordered both of them and then I'm gonna return the one that I don't use. But I, I thought it might be fun once those bags get here to actually do a comparison, uh, even though it's the same bag in two different colors, but then kind of show how this camera fits into it and do like a quick little demo of um, why I ordered that bag. So something to look forward to, at least for me. All right, well, thanks. This was kind of fun and uh, I'm super excited about taking this out.